KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Welcome aboard, everybody, on a Monday. Lots of sunshine today, but now the overcast is coming in. We got two different types of clouds some low clouds off of the bay and some high clouds coming in from, uh, well, a weak cold front well off the coast. We'll show you that in a second. First, we had 80 in Santa Cruz today, 84 in Watsonville. So if it felt warm uh, wherever you were, you were probably right. It was warm. Only cool spots, relatively speaking, were the peninsula, Monterey Seaside. Over to Carmel, upper 60s and low 70s. Overnight lows, by the way, we popped a couple of upper 40s there. So a little bit chillier at night. Longer nights make sense. Longer amount of time for the atmosphere to cool off. 78 in Salinas, and then it was all low to middle 80s down through King City. So a little bit of uh, summer fun there. Uh, not too hot, of course. Not 90s, but uh, 80s. End of October, yeah, pretty warm. 85 Gilroy, 84 in Morgan Hill, and 78. In San Jose. So, again, the rest of the state, yeah, not much different than what we had. 80 Sacramento, Fresno, Bakersfield. We actually had a few 90s down in the deserts there. And 80 in San Diego with the water temperature still up pretty good. And a 68 there on Lake Tahoe, hoping to change gears and get a little winter weather maybe in about 24 hours. Talk more about that in a sec. 61 in Chicago, 70 in St. Louis. You'll notice most of the country is looking more fall like 50s and 60s until you get down to the southeast. We've had 70s, but a lot of rain. Uh, all this moisture coming up out of the Gulf, got a good area of low pressure here, just kind of pumping it in. The only good part of this is that it's moving, so a lot of rain, but uh, thankfully uh, the flooding will subside. There is some flooding down on the Gulf. And then all back over the Rockies, it's really cool air, and in some cases, some snowflakes flying above 9,000 feet. So uh, the Rocky Mountains are now white. Yeah, so they've gotten their first uh, good little uh, storm system. We have not yet for the Sierra. We had some showers north of Portland today. You can see the high clouds just coming in off of the Pacific now, again, all ahead of this front. Now, we've been talking for the better part of a week about Olaf. Olaf, by the way, is right there. You can see that little swirl. Still saying tropical storm status by the Hurricane Center. Kind of iffy right now. We'll see what the next advisory brings. She, uh, Olaf came all the way back from Hawaii, right? So it was over Hawaii for a while. And now the National Hurricane Center will take over the responsibility of this guy after the uh, joint uh, typhoon and warning center between the, uh, the Pacific, you know, both sides of the Pacific there were kind of issuing advisories. So we'll wait and see. What we're really looking at is this cold front here. We were hoping earlier last week that we would get all this moisture to come into the cold front and then swing it towards us. Doesn't really look like that's going to happen. Most of the models say most of the moisture from the tropics will stay down here and we'll get the weakening portion of the cold front coming through. There's certainly enough moisture for a lot of clouds here and probably some rain. Again, here's the Olaf moisture way to the south and most likely what will happen is the cold front will keep moving and Olaf will kind of just sit out there and get passed on by, which is too bad because that would have helped us out with more rain. So the bulk of what's going to happen is going to be up in Oregon and Washington, typical cold front here, and then the kind of the X factor is how much of the southern branch of that moisture can come and get in here. So that's really uh, the trickier part of the forecast. The low is going to pass us by. We'll get the weak cold front Tuesday night, Wednesday. Then high pressure comes back in for a couple of days. we got a warm weekend and then another shot at actually some moisture, but that won't be until the following week, about a week out. But at least there's a couple of chances now, finally, in the seven-day forecast. So clouds arrive during the day tomorrow, mostly overcast. Not much of the rain department until tomorrow night when we start to fuel up a couple of showers. And then better chances early Wednesday through midday and then by late in the day and into the evening hours, we're already kind of tapering this thing off. And whatever we get, a eh, tenth, maybe quarter of an inch if we get lucky. And uh, we'll see. Again, we'll revise this tomorrow if it looks like more tropical moisture gets into the system. But at this point, we're going with the low end amounts. Mid 70s to around 80 in the Central Valley tomorrow, and mostly 70s along the coast here. Partly cloudy, then to mostly cloudy again as the coast continues to deal with low clouds and fog in the morning. And then overcast for everybody in the afternoon, upper 60s to middle 70s. So we'll drop the temperatures down off tomorrow, mostly because of the cloud cover. It's not like we have this massive pool of cold air that's going to filter in behind this, but it will be cooler overall, mid 70s to upper 70s, maybe still 80 down in King City. They're the further south, and they'll have the sun for the longest period of time in the morning. 78 Carmel Valley, upper 60s around Marina, and middle 70s through most of Santa Cruz County after overnight lows, mostly in the low 50s. So again, tomorrow, lots of cloud cover. We'll call it mostly cloudy by probably low. Lunchtime and then clouds and showers a good bet Tuesday night into Wednesday. We'll taper that off Wednesday evening and then more sunshine Friday, Saturday. Halloween looks warm with temperatures in the 80s actually. Wow. Overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. So, 
Yeah, thinking about the costumes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> going to be probably sweating, uh, depending on what you're going to wear. Uh, you know, we've had all this warm weather, and it just seems to want to continue right through the weekend. All right. Well, nice for the trick or treaters. That's always yeah, and a it bonus. won't be raining on them. Hopefully, we'll get all that out of the way on Wednesday. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds great.